guys, I'm back. I ate the sushi. We decided to get sushi at a at a different place, and uh, it was kind of it was kind of meh, honestly. I think it was cheaper, so maybe maybe that's why. But um, yeah, I think that I always get miso soup when I go to sushi places, right? So I think that you know a good way to figure out if it's a good sushi place is to like try the miso soup and then like a basic like roll and see how they do with that and the miso soup was like a little bit off so I'm like uh oh but it wasn't horrible but um yeah I, I, I miss the other place <laughs> it's hard to like eat at different places once you found the sushi place that you like to eat at it's hard to you know diversify and go to other sushi places if you've been like, if you've been eating at one place for so long. Okay. So, we will play a little bit more of this, because we're here, and uh, see what it has to offer. I need to get to like the corner there. That's my issue. Okay. Jump, jump, jump. I'm like a little frog jumping out here. Okay. okay. I'm hoping I can like push myself off somehow. I've jumped quite far, so it's a little concerning. Yeah, I definitely jumped off there. Hmm. It's hard because you can't really orient yourself. <laughs> I can't really orient myself very, very much. <laughs> My Monday will be a little bit cheerful. Oh, because I beat I beat Jump King and I got the crown. <laughs> Yes, I am. I am very much proud of. I'm very proud of myself. <laughs> but yeah, I was mentioning before, but I'm definitely gonna be doing a, a Twitter poll to see what will replace Jump King on uh, on Fridays. And if you guys want it to be uh, some more Jump King, replace Jump King with more Jump King, then I'm all I'm all for it. We'll see what other hard game, <laughs> what other difficult game I can play on Fridays. Make myself go crazy <laughs> for the rest of the weekend. Uh. Ooh, it's a secret. Ooh, all right, all right. So something, uh, something's gonna happen on Monday that will be surprising. I am excited now. Oh. I will look forward to it. Oh, is there a light directly on my face? Oh, there isn't. Did I give up on Tum Tum? <laughs> yeah, that's a good question. Um, you know, I, I played most of the content that was available. Uh, I think it's one of those games where I'm gonna wait for more content to come out, but I do love Tum Tum. Uh, but I, I ended up beating what was there of the main campaign and I want to wait a bit before I jump back into it because I want there to be something substantial to play uh, when I get back into it, you know? But yeah, I do love Temtem. But uh, there's another game that's going to be coming out this summer. It's called Ooblets and Ooblets might, might totally distract me from Temtem when that comes out. It's basically like Harvest Moon, like a farming game, but you farm like little ooblets and they have dance battles for you. It looks like the cutest game ever. Um, very much like in the realm of like, uh, you know, in the realm of like Temtem, that sort of thing. It's not an MMORPG though, so ooblets is different in that sense. <laughs> Look at me fall. Go little jump king, go! Oh, hit my head. <clears throat> I'm 
Then I can disconnect for a little bit. Why does it say I'm, I've only been playing for five minutes? Hmm. I, maybe I disconnected while I was on the Be Right Back screen. That is very, uh... It's looking like that's likely. Whoops. <laughs> Well, this can be the beginning of my DLC playtime, if that's the case. Oh, so, in other real news, besides the fact that I'm a teacher now, it did disconnect, okay. <laughs> but then it just brought itself back to life again, I see. Um... I am looking at a new a new place this weekend. Very exciting. <clears throat> so, when I get when I uh, move into the new place, hopefully, I'll be right next to the internet. <laughs> That's the dream. So yeah, I'm doing that actually tomorrow. Looking at a new place been a while since I've looked. Woo! I'm hoping it's nice. Oh. Oh my gosh. Okay, it's not the game that's annoying me. It's the starlight. Help my eyes. <laughs> the sun's almost the sun is almost down. It's like around this time. What time is it right now? Like 6? Yeah. It's like 5:52 right now. And it's like, the sun is almost down, but not quite. It's just right in the perfect place that it meets my eyes. And it's windy too, so. Ugh, it's hurting my eyes so much. I do, I do not like it. Okay, I'm doing something wrong right there. I gotta mix up my approach on this, on this next screen. By mix up of my approach, I mean not fall <laughs> immediately back down to the ground. Darn you, son. Yeah. It's my. That's my kryptonite. That's my biggest enemy, is the sun. <laughs> but yeah, new place. Mm hmm. And, uh, and I don't want you guys to get too excited because I don't know if it's actually going to happen, but I will have my own game room. I'm so excited. It's probably gonna be a small room, but I'm gonna have my own game room and I've always wanted one. And it'll probably only be big enough to put two computers in it. Um, but yeah, it's a big deal. And I'll be able to hopefully position my computer in such a way where I can have like a wall I could decorate behind me or put lights up. And it's just, it's just gonna be everything. <laughs> A room where I can put all of my nerdy stuff in. <laughs> so yeah, it's just, it's very exciting. <laughs> okay, I have a better idea. Actually, I don't. <laughs> How do I, ugh. What do I do? Oh, here we go. There we go. That's what I do. Oh, now what? Mmm. I understand everything now. Do I have to go back down? Ugh. No. I want the crow. That white crow. That looks like the new crow I'm supposed to follow, so I will. I'll try to follow it. But yeah, a new a new game room will be like super super awesome. I'd like I imagine having like some sort of like pastel lighting behind me, not being in front of like a window. <laughs> and like having like a cozy kind of setup, maybe something I don't know, maybe like something that you guys can like interact with like in the background or something. I guess it could be the lights and you guys could determine you know, what color lights are behind me or something small like that. I think that would be fun. Um, I was playing around with the idea of once I have a bigger space of having a green screen because it's so cool to like have to, to be in a video, you know, to be in the video game and have a green screen. But uh, I don't know. It's a uh, 
I, I also, I mean, there's pros and cons to it, right? So it's like not very inviting if you have a, I mean, you know, some people make the green screen work and it's so, so good. But uh, I, I think I prefer the setups where somebody has a camera and then like there's, you know, you can see that they put time into like their background and stuff like that. It feels like so much more inviting than, uh, you know, just putting a green screen behind you. So I do want to keep it kind of like more, more comfy, more, you know, where you can actually see where I am. Um, because that's, that's kind of, uh, how this channel's been this whole time. You know, you guys always see the picture that's right behind me. <laughs> you, you know, you know when you come into this channel that you'll be seeing, like, the same sort of background each time. And I think, uh, that's, that's pretty cool. Yeah, or I can have, like, a dual setup where sometimes I can have a green screen, sometimes, you know, I could do other things. You know, just having that space option is super important, because it looks like I have space behind me, but I don't. I have a... I have a TV right here. <laughs> or else I would probably have space to put a green screen, but it's pretty close to me. Um, it looks like I have more space than I have because the chair blocks a lot of it. But uh, that's what I'm excited about the the new uh, game room is like all the possibilities of where I can put where I can put everything and decorating wise. <laughs> but yeah, that should be happening at the end of July. So now we just gotta find a place. Um, ah, uh, I just figured that part out. Why didn't I do anything? <laughs> uh, sometimes I figure out, like, how to do something in this game, and then I just act like I never figured it out. <laughs> okay, so you go here, right? Right. Let me full jump. Ow, my head. <laughs> you full jump. Let me correct myself. You full jump when you when you're in the right position. I was trying to do a small jump there so we'd be more on the right side when we land, but... Man, I took walking for granted in this game. Oh no, I'm back at the beginning! <laughs> Dang it. It's all good. I don't know, I don't find this place too annoying as of right now. I gotta get to the edge. There we go. Better. Haha! -ha! I got you, you little crow. Haha! <laughs> -ha -ha. Oh, he's right there now. Of course he's right there. We can make it up there. Easy peasy. Oh! I wasn't expecting that to work, actually. I wonder what these little flying things are. If I'm supposed to know what they are. Am I supposed to know what they are? Oh, that was a little too much. There's a lot of snowy areas in this game, huh? This is like the third snowy area. I wonder if they're gonna have like kind of a new biome in this DLC. Like, I don't know how they'd make this work, but like a cool swamp would be rad or what, what else? What else could you have on a on a Jump King's journey. I don't know why I keep thinking about swamps. <laughs> like swamps or, you know, like a mountain. I mean, did we do a mountain already? A mountain would be the first thing I'd think of, but I guess that's very close to getting over it because when you play getting over it, you're climbing a mountain, right? But like swamps, a mountain would be cool. What else would I want to see? Hmm. Ah! <laughs> okay. Hmm. I'm wondering if I can full jump to the left when I do that. 
I'm gonna try that. Yeah, so like do this? No. <laughs> Not at all, that didn't work at all. Oh, I thought I'd for sure catch that ledge, that's okay. Poison swamps. <laughs> no, not poison swamps. <laughs> I mean, maybe I'm subconsciously thinking about poison swamps. <laughs> so that's why I said it. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that was so close. That's the closest we've been so far, folks. Falconeer. What kind of uh, movie's the Falconeer? I don't see that many uh, trailers very often because I have this new, you know, ad blocker thing. So, so um, companies can stop advertising baby diapers to me because <laughs> I look up baby games. So they always want to advertise that sort of thing to me. Um, but oops. Um, yeah, I haven't seen many ads like of anything recently or lately, I guess I should say because of the ad blocker. What? What am I supposed to do there? <laughs> I thought for sure that was the right move. Huh. Okay, okay. Game's trying to mix it up on me. I thought full jumping to the right was the right move, but they're like, nope, there's nothing there nerd and I'm like oh man jump king why you gotta do me dirty like that when you think you know jump king it throws you a fast one. Oh, it's a game oh I thought it was a movie <laughs> I don't know I thought it was like another superhero movie <laughs> you drop you fly on a falcon oh huh that sounds interesting <clears throat> I'd have to see so is it like hmm I'm trying to imagine what that would be like even will it be like those flying levels in uh, Spyro <laughs> it's a game but it's only the flying levels from Spyro where you like fly through the air and you go through the little rings <laughs> I don't know if anybody would really want that. I'm sure there's more nuance to it than that. I'm trying to think of if I've ever played, like, a game where I'm flying around. And, like, that's the main, the main premise, is that I'm flying. I mean, that's very specific. Um, I don't think I have, though. I've... Just, just Spyro. Just those flying levels in Spyro that I hated as a kid. Not like Spyro. <laughs> oh, that's a relief. <laughs> oh, what a fall. What a fall. I'm quite fast, I'd like to think. Okay, now what's the trick here? What's going on? Oh, I can barely tell. <laughs> oh, no. Why? Why didn't it work before? Where am I supposed to jump even? Do you guys see, like, a path that I'm not seeing? Oh my gosh, I hate that. Oh, I'm supposed to jump from, okay, here to here. There we go. Got it. Got it. Uh-oh. What happened? What was that sound? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Mercy! Ah! <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Jump King, what a fall. <laughs> 
And you know, it would work too. Didn't it sound like I picked something up when I when I got to that corner a second ago? It sounded like I picked something up. I don't know what it was though. Hmm. Weird. I gotta get to the corner of that platform. That's the key. There we go. Hmm. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I'm trying to get to the corner if you're wondering why I'm jumping back and forth. Like a crazy person? That's why. I didn't make the connection in my little in my brain. Oh my gosh. That's ice. That is ice. Ice ice baby. Oh no. Oh okay. The key, the keyword for this area is positioning. You have to be ready to reposition yourself in order to, you know, get the jump jump down. You can't be afraid to go back. <laughs> okay, maybe not that far. Maybe not that far back. Um, but, you know, on the same level, you can't be afraid to go back a couple of platforms so you can perfect a jump. Because, obviously, I cannot jump here. Or I can't walk here, I should say. Okay, at least we're getting up here fairly uh, reliably, I would say. Hmm. Right. Right. Oh, gosh, I just keep hitting my head against this wall. Hmm. Because, what's up here? Oh, I can't tell from here. I was hoping I could. Okay, so the pros and cons of playing this game getting over it. Wings of V are messenger. So, the pro to playing more of this game would be, you know, to get get good at Jump King, and I already know the controls, so that would be a pro. Um, and I guess another pro is I already have this sweet crown. So those are two pros for Jump King. Um, we go on to messenger. The pros for messenger playing the messenger are it looks fairly easy um, compared to the other games on the list so that's a pro for me so it's like it's kind of like a palette cleanser in my mind I don't know too much about the messenger <clears throat> as a platforming game but uh, it looks easier and the art style is pretty cool and uh, it's a fairly popular game I think so that's another another pro uh, we move on to getting over it, and getting over it is a notoriously hard game, right? So... Oh my gosh! Oh, I was so close! <laughs> um, getting over it's a notoriously hard game, so I guess that would be a con for getting over it. But, you know, a lot of people recognize the game, so that would be a pro. Um... It's similar to Jump King, but it's not exactly the same as Jump King, which could be a pro. What the heck? <laughs> Hello there! <laughs> I haven't seen you around here before. Those teeth, man, are scary. If you're anything like 
the others. This might just make for a good show. <laughs> All right. Oh, okay. Oh, these are made out of ice too. Excellent. <laughs> Everything's made out of ice. <laughs> um, so yeah, that would be the pros and cons for, um, you know, getting over it. And then Wings of V is just impossible, I've heard. But the characters are really cute. But apparently you try to beat a boss like a hundred times and that's not, you know, unusual. So they're all, all these games are hard in, in different ways. With the exception of the Messenger, because I don't know too much about the Messenger game. Um... But yeah, I'll be interested to see what you guys decide. I'll probably have it be co like a longer Twitter poll so nobody misses it. And then I'll, I'll post it in, uh, you know, Camel's Discord and mine and stuff. I'll probably make it last like six days until like the next, until the next Friday. Um, so probably like on Thursday actually so I can know what game to download for Friday stream. Oh, yeah, it's impossibly cute. Wings of V. Mm-hmm. True, true. <laughs> nice view from here. Oh, shut up, man. <laughs> He's already making fun of me. Rude. Ah! Oh, okay, I'm okay. I think it's a ninja game. Yeah, yeah, I don't know too much about it. But I don't think it's meant to be, like, a really, really hard game, so... That could be a fun, uh, shorter game for me to play. Oh! Oh! Haha! -ha. You little jerk, I got up here! Alright. <laughs> well, yelling at this old man. Is this a note or something? Oh. What is this? Is this a plaque I can read? Ooh, attention all staff! When the birds are sounding... Stop what you're doing and begin evacuation. Follow instructions received at the meeting point. Huh. Interesting. Hmm. Right, right. Oh! Secret area. What's this say? Incident report. After we came back from the evacuation, prisoner 205 appeared to be in horror, or in terror. We may put him in one of the 500 cells to shake him up a bit. His usual chances for recovery are low. What is this, like an asylum? Where, where am I right now? Excuse me? This is like the sewers, except it's frozen. I hate that. <laughs> I, I hate that. What's this? What did I pick up? A pill? New rule. In order to appropriately punish prisoners, we have to introduce a time limit to the outdoor visit. Cells are continuously occupied as of now. The new limit is set to one week. You can complain to management if you have any issues with this decision. Uh, so I'm like in a prison right now? Is that where I am? Hmm. Go on, get back up there again. <laughs> I'd like to watch you fall some more. <laughs> Ugh, this guy's so creepy. Oh gosh. Ugh. I I did the worst fall possible. <laughs> At least I'm away from that creepy guy. Ugh. Not enough. Not enough of a jump. Ugh! <laughs> 
<laughs> oh no! Oh man, it's not that bad. I mean, I've I've done this before. It's like learning, you know, learning a whole new area again. <clears throat> Too bad, not too shabby. If you're wondering why am I walking back and forth a lot, it's because I have to get in the exact right position in order to in order to jump. That was definitely too much. Nope. <laughs> Just kidding. Not beautiful. The music reminds me of, uh, I don't know. It reminds me of Bloodborne a little bit. Or I guess any Dark Souls game. It's kind of like dark and like it's got, it's like dark and a little bit creepy, but pretty like peaceful sort of. do this so quickly. Ah, oh, I should have caught that ledge! What's up with that? What's up with that? Uh, I think I'm... I think I'm tilting. Maybe I should have stopped when I, uh, after, after I beat the game to end on a high note. <laughs> maybe, maybe I should have done that. Now I got this new NPC that's gonna laugh at me every time I see him. He's just like that guy in the forest who's, you know... Or, I mean, he's not that mean, but there's a... Oh. Some NPCs in this game are meaner than others. I forgot who the NPC was that, like, makes fun of you when you start falling. I forgot who that was. I think it would be even better if you put even more force into your falls. Oh yeah. <laughs> even more fall of force into my falls. So, this is the furthest we've gotten so far. Mm, that fall is definitely a bad one. Bright Crown Woods. Didn't, didn't we go to- weren't we in Bright Crown Woods a while ago? Or was it a different kind of, like, woods? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. how long it takes people to beat this game. They probably do it in minutes. If they they wanted to. 
I mean, if you can beat the regular game in six minutes, even with the wind level, you can do anything. <laughs> um, there we go. Oh, I forgot. I forgot I need to jump to the left. Yeah. Perfect. And don't, don't full jump. I mentioned this before, but I think that this game really wants, makes me want to learn how to, uh, to like rock climb. Cause I've seen people do it and it looks pretty, pretty fun. I need to find, you know, once everything opens back up again and it's all safe outside, I want to find like some sort of, uh, exercise where I can, um, uh, I mean, I guess I want to find like a sport that's fun for me to do and, uh, something that like helps me like exercise my whole body. And I think rock climbing could be like a really fun hobby if you get into it. And I could feel like I am the jump king in real life. <laughs> but instead of jumping, I'm climbing. And you know, when I get to the top, there is not a hot babe, but there is a button I can press to signal a buzzer and, you know, announce victory. I can't leave now, he says. Not while you're still around to amuse me. This guy never runs out of things to say, does he? Oh, he's so creepy. So creepy! <laughs> oh. Ugh, worst fall. trying anymore it's hard for me to it's hard for me to concentrate I think I'm just too lazy to reposition myself. Okay, we'll give it one more try and then I think I'm gonna end the stream here. I think that's a little good, uh, I don't know, I guess like a, a taste of what the DLC has to offer. <laughs> I This isn't even the hard part. I, I know I can get through this if I, uh, you know, came at it and I hadn't already been playing for like three hours. <laughs> then I'll definitely be able to to get this part. It's not too, too bad, but the difficulty still exists. Okay. We can get back to that guy in that cage. That would be a good place to stop. And then if we choose to keep playing, oh gosh, oh no. <laughs> oh no, I say as I fall all the way back down to the bottom of the DLC. And then we can decide what we wanna do for next week. <clears throat> but tomorrow I'm gonna play, uh, I'm gonna play Darkest Dungeon. That should be fun. I've been, I've been having fun playing that game. 
I, I guess I never really gave it a chance before, even though I've seen people play Darkest Dungeon for a while now. So I'm just discovering Darkest Dungeon for myself for the very first time. And it's pretty it's been pretty fun. It's been pretty fun. And then I don't know what I'm gonna do on Wednesday quite yet, because I think Camel's internet's still gonna be uh Still gonna be kind of uh, in and out, so maybe I'll play Summer and Maru, um, the game that Will gifted me. It's like a really cute, like Stardew kind of a game. Um, so maybe on Sunday I'll play, I'll play Summer of Maru, or maybe like another another shortish kind of game uh, to fill up that slot. But I think I'm gonna end the stream right here, and uh, we're gonna go find somebody to raid. And thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. I, I can't believe that we beat we beat Jump King. I just gotta keep reminding myself of that because I'm I'm starting to get I I almost forgot that I beat Jump King already, even though we just did. So I gotta give myself a pat on the back. Good job, good job me for beating Jump King. <laughs> and then I'll leave my fate in your guys' hands. I'm going to have that Twitter pull up as soon as possible and it's gonna last for six days this twitter poll until thursday and i'm gonna give you guys the choice of four different games that i could play next the choices being jump king the dlc the messenger um getting over it or wings of v all four of which would probably you know are very difficult so we'll replace uh Jump King on Fridays with something very similar so that we can like chat and do all of that because I have been enjoying playing Jump King every Friday because while it is difficult we can bond over how difficult it is you know <laughs> but anyways let's see who is streaming right now Ooh, you're gonna vote for the messenger spoilers <laughs> well, well we'll see I'll post uh, the Twitter poll too in discord and the discords that I frequent so we can get like a wider range of uh, opinions and uh let's see what is what is people playing what are people playing right now uh 